Today, boys and girls, we're going to be getting ready for Halloween with the Bearstein Bears Big Halloween Party. The Bearstein Bears Big Halloween Party. Ooh, skeletons, goblins, ghouls, and ghosts. Come to our party. We'll be your hosts. There's an owl and I see lots of bats. It was autumn in bear country and Halloween was on its way. This year, the whole neighborhood was getting together for a big Halloween party at the bear family's treehouse. There would be a costume parade, games, refreshments, a con costume contest and trick or treating for all. Brother, sister and honey could hardly wait. There's brother, sister, and honey. And there's papa and mama bear. She looks like she just picked some squash out of the garden. And there's their pumpkins. They're jumping in the leaves. All the neighbors are getting ready. The cubs are thinking about their costumes. I'm going to be a fire-breathing dragon, said brother. I'm going to be a swan mutant superhero, said sister. I'm going to be a big bug, said honey proudly. A bug, asked sister surprised. Yes, said honey, a ladybug. Oh, said brother, that will be cute. Mama and Papa overheard the cubs. Excuse me, said Mama. Where are these costumes coming from? The Halloween store, said Brother. I'm not sure the Halloween store has those costumes, said Papa. Perhaps you and Mama could help us make them, said Sister. Mama and Papa looked at each other and sighed. On Halloween day, the cubs' costumes were ready. They were magnificent. The whole family had indeed worked hard on them. Look at them. She is a swan, a dragon, and a ladybug. The neighbors were decorating the treehouse and setting out games and refreshments. The neighborhood cubs were wildly excited. Hmm, said Papa. Now we're going to fill them up with sugar and candy. They're all decorating. Look at all the ghosts and the skeleton. They have apples and the cubs are all ready. They're so excited for the party. The party began with a grand costume parade. The cubs were given all sorts of noisemakers, toy horns, cowbells, pot lids to bang on or drums to whack. They set off with, on a tour of the neighborhood. Toot, bong, clank, womp, with the noisemakers. The cubs looked very nice in their costumes and they had a wonderful time making all that noise. When the parade got back to the treehouse, everyone was hungry and thirsty. The parents doled out refreshments and when everyone was refreshed, the games began. There was bobbing for apples. Little Billy Griswold lost a tooth biting into an apple. That's all right, he grinned. It was loose anyway. And there's his tooth. <laughs> Papa's smiling. Papa su supervised the beanbag toss. Hey, he said as a cub accidentally bounced a beanbag off his head. <laughs> Sorry, said the cub. There's the beanbag, bounced right on his head. Mama was in charge of face painting. She did a wonderful job. By the time she was done, the cub's own parents didn't recognize them. She did all the face painting. The skeleton. Oh, and I see some more bats. One, two, three, three bats. Mr. and Mrs. Bruin ran the pin on the bone on the skeleton game and the musical tombstones game. At the end, Lizzie Bruin and Cousin Fred 
both sat down on the last tombstone at exactly the same time. So it was declared a tie. The other cubs happily ran circles around Lizzie and Fred. They're all running around in a circle. Next came the pumpkin pinata. Papa held it out on a long pole for the cubs to whack with a baseball bat while blindfolded. The first cub got a bit confused and whacked Papa. Ow, yelled Papa. Eventually, someone took good aim and burst the pumpkin wide open. The cubs gathered up the scattered candy while poor Papa rubbed his leg. There's all the candy. The party finished with a costume judging contest. The cubs got up one at a time to display their costumes while everyone applauded. Then prizes were awarded. There were lots of prizes. Those are all the prizes. I see three witches. One, two, three. And for the witch with the straightest hat, said Mama, giving out a prize. And for the dinosaur with the sharpest horn, said Papa, giving out another prize. Soon all the cubs had prizes and trick-or-treating could begin. There's their prizes. It was getting dark. The neighborhood was looking quite spooky. There were flickering, flickering lanterns along the street. Pumpkins glowed on every porch. There were fake skeletons, ghosts, ghouls, spiders, and monsters everywhere. You can see the monsters skeletons and the ghosts. Everybody's ready. Look at the big spiders. They're all ready for trick-or-treating. The cubs set off. Parents went along with the little ones. They marched up to each front door and knocked. Some doors were old and creaky and some houses had some effects of shrieks and moans. It was pretty scary. But when the doors were open, friendly neighbors were inside. Trick or treat, the cubs cried and held out bags and baskets for their treats. They're going up to the door and saying trick or treat. When the last candy bar had been gathered and the final lollipop selected, the cubs returned to the tree house to count their loot. They arranged it in neat little piles. 15 bear nut bars, said brother. 17 grizzly pops, said sister. Lots of honey drops, said honey, who couldn't count very well yet. It was getting late. The moon was rising as the families headed home. The littlest ones were fast asleep in their parents' arms. Good night, called mama, papa, brother, sister, and honey. Happy Halloween. And happy Halloween, the neighbors called back. A wonderful Halloween party had been had by all. Oh, this one is sleeping, he's tired. There's another one sleeping. They went trick-or-treating and they had their party and now it's all done. It's time to go home. That's the end. I hope you enjoyed the story today and I hope that you have a fun time on your Halloween day too. Now we're going to make some treats to go along with the story. 